This is the moment passers-by say a woman wearing a face mask was attacked in a New York subway station by a man claiming she was sick. It's now being investigated as a possible hate crime. In another post, a man verbally abuses an Asian woman collecting plastic bottles. This is why you have a virus. Community leaders say they've heard accounts of other similar incidents. The fear is overtaking the actual facts on the ground. When I talk to business owners and entrepreneurs in Flushing, they are very concerned about the panic and the fear that is uh, gripping not only the entire United States, but New York specifically. It's making people feel very emotionally um, vulnerable. Cases of discrimination and even attacks have been reported all over the world. The United Nations says misinformation is partly to blame. In this situation, sometimes it's easy to move into perspectives in which there tends to be discrimination, there tends to be violation of human rights, there tends to be stigma uh, on innocent people um, just because of their ethnicity or whatever. I think it's very important to avoid this. In New York's Chinatown, some businesses say they've lost as much as half of their regular trade over the last two weeks. Shop owner Christina Said says racial animosity here is nothing new. And although fears of COVID-19 have made things worse, she says she's confident business will bounce back. My family has faced all types of things over the years. There's always going to be those crazy people. We were here when SARS happened. We were here when there was like Hurricane Sandy, 9-11. As a community, like, there are good days, there are bad days, and we're just going to get through it. Authorities here have condemned the recent racist attacks and say it's now more important than ever for people to show their support for the city's Asian community. Sarah Walton, CGTN, New York.